Hello everyone. So this playlist of tutorials will cover how you can run basic bus calculations and how you can run DFT simulations for defect analysis, point defect analysis to be more specific. So in this uh, few videos, what I'll do is I will introduce you to some packages first, then I will uh, give you some GitHub repository where you can access all the codes and the basic workflows. Then I will try to simulate some bus calculations, basic bus like SCF, uh, density of states, band structure, something like that, partial density of states. And then I will uh, try to show you how you can use pi defect. This is a package. Pi defect integrated with bus can give you some really interesting uh, parameters for point defect analysis so stay with me in this whole tutorials and hopefully you will find it useful so this part of the tutorial i will try to mostly focus on the few uh, few packages that you need to know so first i have the materials project so those who already have used materials project it is a huge repository of different types of materials and also uh, you can search different types of materials properties how the uh, materials behavior looks like there are also some uh, um, different types of sc um, c file or structure file there where you can see the materials structure also you can uh, use materials project api that that is uh, application program interface so that uh, you can uh, simultaneously take different types of data from this materials project of already known uh, materials to make your calculation more faster and more uh, I would say it, uh, more verified so if you log in in this uh, here okay uh, so I have logged in using my github repository so you can see that there are some options to start mat exploring materials and all those things so if I click here uh, and I look for different type, any materials, say I am looking for gallium nitrite and search. So as you can see, there are lots of materials with different types of crystal systems, point space groups, and their reported properties like band gaps and energy above Hall effects. So you can just select any of these and there you will have all the parameters that are already known like you, you have different types of uh, unit cell conventional cell different types of cell settings and also you can export different types of files from that so if you are have a like basic primitive cell and you want to uh, get the postcard file that is like the position file uh, you can just export it as the postcard or you can export it as zip file the zip file you can just uh, 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 open it in visualization tool like uh, uh, different types of x -crystal. okay so here you can get all these things also there are some uh, predictor band gap parameters and all those things and if you come to bottom side here you have the lattice parameters also the crystal systems so lots of things you have electronic properties phase stability what is its spectra all these things are here okay so this is like a huge repository of materials so if you are looking for starting with uh, some materials then you should i will say you should come to this rep materials project api and try to uh, search their properties and also these are like the standard properties so when you are using this materials structure your parameters simulator parameters should be very close to these things okay and also they have some repository uh, some literature reference like for these materials they have these types of deep this materials was structure was used in this all these uh, journals or literatures so you can also like uh, go to these journal articles and see what is their uh, properties what types of calculations they have reported so that you two will be more like uh, efficient and you can more easily verify your data so after that so 
in materials project you can find an api so you might you need to have this api so this is the api key so for this tutorial you need to have your own api key for proper like uh, integration for the simulation so if you don't have a materials project uh, account it is free just create an account and have your own api so the next thing i will be talking to is like the bus so bus is a basic uh, like uh, dft calculation software this is called the, the bna ab initio simulation package or basp so uh, you can use this bus for all these different types of things you can uh, use for with different types of functionals for structural relaxation molecular dynamic simulation uh, magnetics uh, linear response to electrical field very phases all these things and also optical properties so one of the thing that bus is not very much like i would say very much uh, uh, not effective or ineffective is that when you are considering the phonon calculation so there are not any dedicated uh, that much options to calculate phonons using phonon's properties using bus so if you are looking for phonon calculation you can either use some external package and then integrate it with bus or you can use packages like quantum espresso and all those things all other cast tape or uh, other uh, siesta or other things that are useful for phonon calculation so i personally used quantum espresso for sub phonon calculation so other than that you can use bus then i will uh, introduce you to pi defect so this is if you go to this link this is uh, the link uh, so i will try to put that link in the description box so in this uh, repository they what they try to do is that they try to make a, a python um, package that will try to uh, use your own basic uh, unit cell of any materials like for gallium nitrate you need to give it a basic unit cell and follow their steps so these are there are tutorials with lots of lots of steps i'll give you how you can like uh, structure or you repository and how to run all these things till you come to this point at the end where you can get this uh, uh, very nice formation energy diagram so this is like where this is a diagram that is useful to show what types of point defects are in the materials and how they are properties is changing and this is important because the presence of point defects in the materials could change the basic electronic properties like the band gap also like the electron absorption capability electron mobility all those things so the effect is very much important especially on the device scale when we are grow, growing gallium nitrate and the defect could happen due to like some a uh, very higher level of radiation or could be in there due to like fabrication stage there are some uh, there could be some impurities also so this uh, formation energy diagram is very important for when we are talking about point defect calculation so i will show you how you can do this and also like when i will be running bus so let me just give you a basic example so when you are actually uh, running bus so this is the basic command like bys uh, sorry uh, it's like a uh, bus is the basic command but uh, when you are using like super computing facilities like i will be using a uh, super computing facilities in this tutorial then you need to know some some packages like mpi run which is useful to like separate or to assign number of cores you needed for the run or number of ram you needed i will be using slurm package so this is one of the like workload managers that is useful for uh, running in supercomputing facilities so in my my site my supercomputing facility uses slurm for uh, submitting the uh, the program so i will be using this so if you are not using slurm you can use mpi run and all those things the only thing that will change is like uh, how you can do how you can assign the number of cores in your own uh in your own documentation perspective so if you are using mpi run so you should look into how you can select this number of cores using mpi run and uh, then you just need to run it so the run itself will be different like for my slurm i when i will be running i'll show you in the tutorial it is very easy just you need to change it to using your M own mpi run but if you are using slurm you can directly follow that so finally 
I will suggest you come to the, my GitHub repository. So here is like this uh, repository gallium nitrate point defect investigation with DFT bus fire defect. If you come to this repository, you will have two more directories. So one is without defect gallium nitrate and with defect. So without defect is means like there is no defect is just a basic bus run of gallium nitrate and to cal uh, in order to calculate like the uh, structural parameters, relaxed structural parameters, <coughs> then you will have band gap and dos so this is like a basic introductory some uh, uh, writing about how the bus is actually structured so if you come to the without defect site then you will have two repository one is like convergent test as you know for uh, some calculation for new materials we need to do convergence test so if you come to this you will have two <coughs> convergent test files one is for k points so if you are looking for what key, which key point gives you the most converged energy values then you can just follow this so there is like test one test two so there are like two files if you just run it and all the instructions are given you just need to run it from the uh, using your own uh, you know like own materials struct uh, materials um, crystal structure so these are like what you need to do so everything is documented here so this is for the convergent test after the convergent test you can use those parameters for running relax scf and bands and dos these four criteria so everything is documented also here you can just copy paste the codes and make sure that uh, you try to read these things if you want to so these are like for when you don't have any defects coming to the defect side so if you have defect then you need to use pi defect and for that I have this step by step gallium nitrate point defects using DFT so everything is documented here so you can find majority of these things in pi defect but it is a little bit difficult to follow so what I did is I added everything so you just need to copy paste the code and it will work so all the steps are provided and all the required uh, there are in some cases when you need to add some uh, additional uh, I would say additional python packages or updated packages that are not covered in the pi defect and you will get error if you only follow pi defect in that case you can also like use this so uh, like for this instant at this point uh, this uh, two from this point all this point to step eight this two code you need to run it because it's after if you don't if you don't run this you will get error and this is not covered in pi defect so if you just follow the repository it will cover everything and I greatly appreciate and acknowledge the uh, copyright of ID fit for everything I'm just making it for documentation and for use for making it more convenient to use okay so you have the uh, point defect analysis also and finally like what I will say is like you need some pseudo potential file and also you will have need to have some uh, slurm package because I will be using slurm package so you also need to have some slurm script so I've already uploaded the slurm script here s run and r run and uh, for the pseudo potential I'm not sure I need to still make sure that uh, I am uploading the pseudo potential uh, if I'm uploading pseudo potential from my group I have the enough copyright to share it publicly so if it's not here uh, then I actually end up deciding that I will not be uploading you need to find your own pseudo potential file for bus but if you can if you, I upload you will have find it here so there will be three folder there will be another folder called pseudo potential where you will have the pseudo potential files so that is pretty much it uh, I will start with the basic uh, investigation and I will try to summarize everything and we'll be using this repository because it's almost finalized I'll just copy paste and uh, help you see how you can run it uh, using the documents or using the course property in this uh, repository so that is pretty much it thank you very much and I'll see you on, you on the next one